video uh, in response to a query from uh, M Francisco about how you measure the the angle in the in a valley gutter situation is wanting to bend the steel bend the uh, the valley gutter lead or whatever to the right angle so um, what I'm going to do is just draw do this with two uh, bits of roof that are very regular so I'm going to start off with um, two two squares just 10 by 10 so the units don't matter because it's, it's just about angles here okay and then if I copy that from corner to corner I'm going to extrude both of these by 10 okay so this is intentional so that I get a 45 degree roof pitches on these okay so now putting a 3d face inside the cubes so it's going across the the cube okay one extra face there so I've got a 3d face there and a 3d face there if I do polylines out from these corners polylines don't drop in their height I can then take the grip here across take this grip across and then dump the construction shapes okay and I've basically got a valley valley gutter situation there and I know that the picture of these are both 45 degrees let's just shade it so you can see what's what's going on here okay right measuring the angle this is a wee bit trickier because um, you the only way I can think of is that you set up uh, three point UCS's one for this one and then draw a line on that roof one for that one and draw a line on this roof then set up the three point UCS between the two lines that you've drawn and you can then ask it for a, for an, an angle so I'll show you how that works so 3P sorry it's UCS and then I want a three point so it's three and return I'll start here and work on this roof first so my origin point here X direction somewhere up this line easy one to go for is the corner and the Y direction if I pick this corner okay then draw a line it can be from anywhere on that roof okay then we set up the three point UCS for this plane UCS return three return and this time I'm going to do it in the opposite direction so my origin point here X direction this way Y direction from here okay then another line I've got ortho on when I'm drawing these lines okay so they run in the plane of the roof okay let's just twi twist that around so you can see that these lines are in the planes with their respective bit of roof okay you see how that works okay now we set up the three point UCS between these two lines so UCS return 3 return origin x direction y direction now try your dim ang command so it's dimension angular so it's dim return ang return pick this line pick this line that's the angle for the valley gutter okay place that so if I want to try that with a with a different setup put the UCS back to normal and what I'll do I'll just create two rectangles and without specifying any particular size okay so this will give us odd roof pitches okay so there's no no sizes going in here I'll extrude them both by the same amount once again no sizes going in so I don't know any of the heights here so 3D face first. Okay, stick a face inside the cubes. Well, not cubes, but you know what I mean. Face there. Polyline to help me establish the valley position. Or hip. Yeah, it'd be the same same situation if it was a hip. Okay, we dump the uh, the construction stuff. 
then UCS three point pick one pick two pick three draw a line UCS three point do it the other way now pick one pick two pick three draw a line let's just check that they're on their own roof planes they seem to be okay then we set up the UCS three point between those two lines pick one pick two pick three and then dim angular 147 degrees okay now watch for your units you know if the angles are, are important then you need to make sure you've got enough decimal places so my angle precision wasn't very high maybe put it to two decimal places and if I update that dimension no, it's not giving me any extra so I'll put the dimension in again actually it's probably in the dimension uh, definition so if I yeah my dimensions aren't set to uh, to have any more decimal places there so change the units for the angle precision to two decimal places okay and then dim ang okay 147.32 degrees much more accurate okay now well, <laughs> if anybody can do that does that in a different way i'd love to see it because I, I couldn't think of another way of doing it but uh hope that helps you okay pal bye now